I take back the two weeks' notice, Tim. You are? Yeah. Can we, uh, act like that, um, resignation thing never happened, please? Okay, let, let me get this straight. Mm. You quit, and now you're unquitting? Yes. I'm taking it all back. All of it. All of it. I believe that I'm supposed to be right here, here, today. Okay, so you're not going to Hollywood. You're not becoming the big star. You're not becoming rich and famous, not necessarily in that order. No, I'm not going to Hollywood, that is. Hang on, I, I'm really confused. The, the whole Hollywood big dream thing, it, it didn't work out then? No, yes it did. But you're not going there? No, no I'm not. I'm staying right here. But then you're still going to be a big star? Yes, I can be a big star right here. <sighs> I, I don't I don't think I don't think I really understand I don't think I'll ever really understand you but you know what I'm really happy that you're staying I, I really need you around oh well, thanks Tim and trust me you won't regret it so when I get a chance to thank all the little people I'll make sure I definitely thank you you're my biggest little person thanks Tim gee <sighs> thanks you know what we better get back to work yep <laughs> Remember when paying attention to detail was important to building things that last? At Omega Home Improvements, we believe that your siding deserves that same attention to detail so it too is built to last. We specialize in a foam back insulated panel that features five times the energy efficiency and is four and a half feet longer than other panels used on homes today. We're Omega Home Improvements, doing it right from beginning to end. At s and Bank, we've got a new account for people with busy lives. It's called the Preferred Account, and it's full of everything you need and none of what you don't, like free anywhere ATM transactions. So you never have to make a special stop to save a fee. The Preferred Account at s and Bank, it's your life. We just made it a little easier. Well, I had to come because I had, just six months ago, a total hip replacement. So I needed to come for physical therapy. I took advantage of many of the things, things that I never thought I would have used to help me recover from my uh, hip replacement. And every single thing I did, each time I came, I noticed great improvements and things that you would think, how would that help you? It was amazing. Senior Care Plaza is a family-owned, long-term care residence that provides a nurturing home and a high-quality care program. If your loved one can no longer care for themselves, it's time to think about Senior Care Plaza. We call it care. You'll call it home. If you've been looking for a high-quality, top-rated personal care home with your specific needs in mind, Senior Care Plaza in McKeesport, Pennsylvania may be for you. Senior Care Plaza. On around here, get out of my booth. Why does Ab Abby keep trying to put a party hat on me? Mm. I don't wear hats. Is there a party going on around here or something? Yes, it is. Huh. Man. I didn't think that you and her were good enough friends for her to be doing something like that for you. Oh, no, it's not for me. It's not? No, 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 no. I thought you was going away to uh, be a reality TV star. Man, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here. Sam's the one who's going somewhere. Sam's going away to be a reality TV star? No way. Sam's going on summer vacation. All this for a summer vacation? Impressive. Confusing, but impressive. Mm, good point. Tim? Yeah? I'd like you to meet David Matthews. He's the illusionist that I hired Hi, for Hi, Sam's David. going nice, away party. Nice to meet you. Yes. The name is very familiar. You know, you're, you're really putting a lot of work into this party. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. This well, nice send-off. thank send -off. you. It calls for a big celebration. Wow, that's... Hang on. You don't mean that the, the way that I mean that. The way that you're not... 
Why? How do you mean it? That's exactly what I meant. You're, you're just happy to see her go. Well, you know what? I, I need to talk to this guy. I'll let you get on with your party decorations. And okay, okay. Off, okay. David, uh, there's a, forgive me for asking, but there's a, a, a Christian illusionist by that name. Is, is that you? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Now, that's interesting. It, I, I would think that some people would have a struggle <laughs> with magician, illusionist, Christian. Yeah, there. Yeah, I've I've run into confrontation before. Um, some people think that magic is or illusion, whatever would you want to call it. Uh, they put it in the bad section, but I mean, typically magic, all it is is just years of practice to make things look impossible. I mean, any eight-year-old child could do the things that I do with thirty years of practice. <laughs> but, so. Is that when you started? Were you eight? No, I was I was ten years old. So I've been doing this for twenty-eight years. Wow. So, um, but wow. uh, yeah, lots of practice. Uh, in fact, my, I sit in front of the TV and mess with things all the time. And but uh, yeah, lots of boring practice. What sometimes. got you? What got you into it? I mean, what what yeah. really stirred the juices? It said, you know what, this is something I really want to do. It was uh, actually it, probably typical of any magician. It was a magic set. Uh, my best friend got a magic set for his birthday. Uh, we both started playing around with it. Uh, we both fell in love with it. I went out and bought the same one, and we would. We would work on doing little shows for our parents and like charge them a quarter or something like that to come in and watch. But I, I really had a fascination with making people be amazed. It was, it was nice to do something and watch somebody be amazed at something. And I was like, oh, this is kind of fun. Well, I'm always amazed by sleight of hand, by, by what, what people do. But do you, I, I know that Abby hired you and that doesn't mean necessarily that she hired you because you're a Christian. She probably just hired you because you're good. Uh, so you, you, do you do this in any events or as a Christian events or, you know? Yeah, I prefer, I prefer my, my personal calling, I believe is, uh, more of an outreach. Mm -hmm. Um, I have, uh, my program that I do is, uh, I'll spend anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour, uh, doing illusion or magic for people. Mm -hmm. And then I'll actually spend the last 20 minutes of my program, uh, presenting my testimony and then a spiritual illustration, which presents the gospel to people. Wow. So it's it's become a really neat way to reach people who may not even step foot into a church. Now, right I, off I the mean, bat. you had to. I mean, if you've been doing this this long, you, you had to run into a little bit of conflict with some folks, like you said, where they just don't get it. How, how did you take the leap to say, you know what, I can use this gift to reach people? It was actually it was uh, it was my, between my sophomore and my junior year in college. I had uh, went to a conference with my parents, uh, Fellowship of Christian Magicians. There's actually an organization. Really? Where, yeah, all these guys get together, um, and we come to conferences and we'll learn things off each other, techniques, things like that. But I saw a gentleman perform, and at that time it was just a hobby for me. But after I watched him, I was like, you know what? This can actually be a ministry. Hmm. And uh, I had I had actually had a confrontation a little bit earlier and thought, I don't know if it's going to work, but I watched a guy held people spelled on for two hours, and it was it was amazing. You know, I, I learned in my life that, that God will use anything that we give to him and, and that everything is created to give him glory in, in one way or another. And if he's gifted you, you know, with this, uh, you know, with this skill, with this ability, I mean, it's, it's very cool. That, that you're using it now. Uh, what is it when you do a show? Is it take this like? This is it. It's where the magic happens. Me, okay. Got it. Got everything in there. All right. Sure. It's certainly hey. good to see you again. How you doing, Tim? Yeah. Uh, hey, you know what? Uh, don't even worry about us. Pretend like we're not even here. All right. Okay. okay, I'm thinking you could probably get set up over here. We might set up over hey, there, too. What, what, I think you'll find that the what's, lighting's what's, great what's, in here. You what's can up, get for any what's up with yeah. the camera? Uh, uh, hey, you know what? It looks like Party Central in here, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> nice job. Yeah. Is this for a birthday party? Uh, no, no, no. A Abby is is giving a, 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 a going-away party for one of the other employees. So somebody's leaving for the summer. Really? Yeah, yeah. You know, between you and I, though, Yeah. you know, Abby and Sam, they, they really don't get along very well. I'm, I'm not quite sure why she's doing it. Are you serious? Yeah, unfortunately, you know, I, I wish everybody could get along. I wish everybody got, you know, play, could play nice together, but, you know, not in this, this case. This is great. I mean, you can't even write this kind of stuff. Hey, excuse me? <laughs> uh, anyway, never mind. I, like I said before, pretend like we're not even here. We're going to be like flies on the wall, literally, okay? Flies on Trust the me, wall. Tim. I've okay. done this a hundred times. All right. I've done this a hundred times. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dirk, you've okay. made it over here before. Why me? are you here 
all the time. I mean, don't you have your own place to manage? Well, yeah, but I'm here all the time anyway, so I'm trying to help. Hey, uh, Phil, uh, Dirk was yeah. just going to tell me why the camera operators are. Oh, here. you know what? Hey, let me ask you something about uh, about that. What's up with all the uh, party decorations anyway? What's going on? Well, Abby's giving a going away party for Sam. Wow. She really wants to get rid of her bad, doesn't she? Well, you know, that's what I was thinking too, but I, she doesn't want to admit it, though. She's never going to to admit it. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> but uh, hang on, I was, I was asking you, what's up with the camera operators? Well, why would I know what's up with that? Well, because he's your friend, and I thought you would... Oh, well, uh, <laughs> he's, he's here to uh, tape the party. He is? Well, yeah, I mean, they've got a camera, and there is a party going on, so that's what he's here for. Wow. Abby's putting a lot more into this party than what I thought. Well, that's, you know what, i, I got to handle a couple things. You okay. do your thing with You bet. Dirt. There you go. All taken care of. What can I help with next? Uh, well, next you can go away. No, seriously. Uh, what, do you, what do you need me to do? No, seriously, you can go away. Why don't you go get Marcus a contract and we'll look it over, something like that. Oh, okay, okay. okay. That's a good idea. All, all right. right. Take all it right. easy. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> and that is for all the things you did to me in high school. Hey, hey Dirk. Hey, you getting started? Can I help you set up? Oh, no. You know what? You should probably start shooting in the kitchen first. That's where I always do my work. And make sure you get my best side. Which one do you think is my best side? Okay, you know what? Hey, hey, don't worry about it, okay? We got it all under control. Everything's taken care of, all right? And oh. don't worry. We're going to get your best side. Right, cool. So when are we getting started? <laughs> well, we're almost ready. Why okay. don't you just go about your routine like you normally do, okay? Just everyday, normal activities. <laughs> okay. You want to you shoot me in action? Right, right. In action. Okay. Here I am. In action. Look at me. Look, look at me. Okay, now the real action is going to happen when uh, Sam comes in here. When she and Abby collide, this is going to be fireworks. So I want you to be ready for it, okay? I don't want to miss one second of this. His place, his You know that your morning cup of coffee can help clothe, feed, rescue, and care for the poorest of the poor? I know it may seem hard to believe, but it can happen. His Place and Kiva Han Coffee have joined forces to bring a special blend of coffee that will change the world. Hope Coffee is a direct trade coffee, which means that the families of the people who work hard on the coffee farms receive the funds directly from their harvest. In addition, the profits from Hope Coffee go to help rescue children in impoverished countries and bring the message of God's love to people all around the world. For a limited time, for your gift of $37, we'll send you as our thank you a His Place mug and a 12 ounce bag of Hope Coffee. Together, we're changing the world one life at a time through one cup of coffee at a time. Send your gift today. So, what do you think about the cafe, Mr. Wiley? It's festive. I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm not wearing a party hat. Oh, come on. You know, Sam likes you so much, and it would mean the world to her if you did. I suppose so. I'll think about oh, it. Oh, good. Good. Why is there a camera crew around here? Are they disrupting everything? Oh, I don't think they're too disruptive. I, I actually just assumed that they were here for Marcus and his YouTube channel, so mm. I, I'm going to deal with them later. Right now, I have bigger fish to fry. Why are you in such a big hurry to get rid of Sam? <laughs> because I'm happy to see her go on summer vacation. You know, there are some people, if, if he hadn't left, 
I'd have been asking you to, to maybe see if you could make Phil disappear. You know, uh, he's, he's, he's ubiquitous. He's over here all the time. No, no, I, I, I love him. I appreciate him. But when, when I think of illusionists, I, you know, there, there are these names out there that have made big names for themselves, like, uh, you know, Houdini, uh, uh, Blaine, uh, you know, different people like that. That do So that it's, it's all sleight of hand or trying to make, is it trying to make your mind think something that... Uh, some of it is. There's different categories of magic. There's what they call mental magic, where people do mess with your mind. Uh, and then there's uh, illusions, which like you mentioned, uh, like David Copperfield, uh, probably the greatest magician right now that's been around. And then there's the little stuff, the stuff that happens like right in front of your face that mm -hmm. drives you even nuts. So, I can show you something now? Yeah, yeah, that'd be, that'd be cool. <laughs> a couple I'm, of, uh, I'm up for this. I, <laughs> I like this kind of stuff. Everyday objects, um, you can check those out. Okay. Make, sure, make sure they're real. Couple, yeah. yeah. Couple, as we call them here, gum bands. Gum bands. Yeah, gum yes, bands. Never, never understood nothing, that one. Nothing, nothing so. secret about them. You they're didn't, they're you normal. Didn't find any holes normal or anything? Normal everyday. No, no. Normal everyday uh, gum bands. I, I could have used one. <laughs> my hat broke. My gum band broke on my hat, so I could have used one. Well, this is this is one of those up close things. Uh, everyday object here. Um, okay. But you place one on the tips of the fingers. It creates a ring. Okay. We take the other one, slide it behind. So now we have two rubber bands that are interlocked. When okay, you rub yeah. them right here in the middle, uh -huh. you actually cause one. To pass through the other. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. And so. and basically what that is is it's just your fingers are so dexterous that you are able to do something <laughs> that tricks my eyes. Yes, hours of practice to trick your eyes. Yes, <laughs> pretty much with, that's what it is. With rubber bands, you you yes. need to get it. You, you, no, <laughs> no, but it's 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 cool. Now, how would you take something like that? And, and do you just, just the trick itself to draw people in, to share your yeah. the gospel or a story? If or? I'm doing, if I'm doing a close up, uh, like one of, one of the things I would love to do, um, haven't had the opportunity to do it yet, but I would love to do it is like be able to go on a college campus, um, mm -hmm. and walk around and, and, uh, perform and do stuff because this kind of thing will open up a door conversation. Mm -hmm. Uh, and not everything that I'll do has some kind of little illustration mm -hmm. with it, but just to get the conversation and to earn the right to be heard oh, yeah. is, is a lot of what I, what I consider, when I use the illusion of the magic, that's what I consider it, is earning the right to be heard. And that's, that, that is so important. The, the, the age of people, everybody just accepting Christianity on face value, saying, mm -hmm. okay, I'm a Christian, you're a Christian, you know, or I was raised in a Christian, that, that age is gone. Right. We, we have to earn that that right to be, be heard. Is there, when you've done this, has, has there been anybody that has been dramatically affected or a story that you remember say, you know what, this kid or this adult really, you know, they were like, wow, you know, this, this touched me. Well, I've, I've had the opportunity to be honest with you. I've had the opportunity and my, the way we do that, um, oftentimes we're there one night or we're gone the next. Mm -hmm. So we'll, when, I, when I do my presentation, we'll, we'll pass out comment cards. Mm -hmm. And we ask people to fill those out if they've actually committed their life to Christ. Mm -hmm. um, got a lot of reports from pastors that I've worked with about some really great things that have happened in people's lives. And they get the opportunity to follow up with those people, mm -hmm. which is something I don't get the opportunity mm -hmm. to do. But so. it's a tool. It's, it's like those guys that, uh, you know, break bricks with their forehead and things like that. I mean, it's, there's, <laughs> it's, it's not that, you know, Jesus would go around breaking bricks. But, but if, it's, if there's a, a tool that we can use. Okay. Okay, just keep rolling. Keep rolling right over there, okay? <coughs> Marcus! Yes? What are you doing? <laughs> that, I don't know, but I'm just happy to be doing it. I'm just so happy that you're here, Dirk, filming me. This is yeah. great. Well, hey, I'm glad that you're glad, yes. right? <laughs> i tell you what, why don't you come over here for a second, Marcus? Okay. <clears throat> okay, um, the only way this is really going to work yeah. is if you um, kind of relax, you know? Relax? Act a little more natural, you know? Okay. Just be yourself, okay? Just be yourself like you are every day around here. I don't want you hamming it up for the camera. You don't have to carry on in any way, shape, or form. I just want you to chill. Can you do that? Okay. Here I am. Chillax. It might be a natural. Yeah, getting acclimated is going to take a little bit longer than I had okay. anticipated. Okay, what's going on here? Oh. Seriously, um, this is starting to get disruptive, and if you hadn't noticed, I'm trying to run a business here. Abby? This is Dirk, one of the greatest guys in the world. Abby, it's nice to meet you. Yes. My name is Dirk, Dirk Oliver. And you know, I heard about this party that you were throwing today, and I thought it would make a great human interest story. Uh, tell me, what, what all do you do here? Uh, I help Tim with the business side, you know, cost analysis, projection, yeah. budgets. I can tell. I can tell, because when you approached me, I could sense this air of authority. Authority. You did? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I mean, I would venture to say that this uh, place runs like a well-oiled machine because of you, am I right? Well, thank you. I like to keep things organized yeah. and people productive. Yeah, exactly, and I can tell. And you can see it. I mean, this place is great. Uh, so I think you're a pretty smart lady. You're business savvy. I'm correct, right? And I think you also know that the publicity that's going to come as a result of this taping will generate a lot of business for the cafe. Yes, I suppose it will. Yeah. Just don't bother the customers and sure. keep it down. You got my word? Okay. <laughs> we will be unobtrusive. Thank you. Thank you. How did you do that? That was impressive. I, 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 she never agrees with anything. Yeah? Well, there you go. <laughs> you know, there, there, there are some illusions that are, are good and some illusions that are bad. I mean, uh, when, when you think about it, uh, a, a friend of mine, uh, Jim Baker, said that, that uh, the world has the ability to make what's fake look real. Mm. And, and he was criticizing Christian television. He said Christian television has the ability to make what's real look fake sometimes. And, yeah. and, and we, we are dealing with illusions in so many different ways that, that we have to overcome, even this life is an illusion in reality because our real life is the one that we begin the minute we stop we right. stop breathing and and so I'm, I'm glad that you're able to use this gift and it is a gift from god i mean that it's it's a gift because this isn't something that you could just do of course you put the time and the energy into it to make it happen yeah. but there had to be you know the, the bible says you know that God will give us the desires of our heart if we delight ourselves in Him, if we enjoy Him and things like that. And God put this desire there, gave you the ability to do it, and you practice it, and now people are being touched and, and changed. It's amazing. And uh, it's fun. <laughs> you enjoy doing it's, it's, it. I enjoy doing it. It's, it's definitely one of those things where I get to do what I enjoy doing, and that's I get to minister at the same time. That's one of those cool things. When, yeah. when, when, when God has a plan for us, and we do whatever it is that, he, you know, that He's planned for us, we love it. It's mm -hmm. something we love. People, everybody thinks they're going to be sent off to Zimbabwe or something or, <laughs> or Mozambique or Antarctica or, or wherever to do things. Well, uh, give, me, give me another example. Show me something else you sure. can do. I'd, well, do you mind if I stand? No, no. Help us out. Sometimes I work better when I stand. Yeah, so, so um, now, do you mind if I use cards? Some people don't mind cards. That's okay. But, it's uh, over, well, <laughs> I was a good Baptist. I was raised, you know, if you play with cards, you're going to hell. Do not pass go to not collect $200. Uh, but that's okay. I'll just a normal deck of cards. Okay. So let's, let's try something here. Now, this isn't one of those trick decks where all the nope. cards are the same nope. thing. I'll, I'll even look at them. Okay. All yeah. The, okay. Okay. Different. I see that. Okay. <laughs> Tell you what, do me a favor and just reach in and just pull out a card. You got any card? Any card. Okay. Memorize it. Don't forget it. <laughs> Memorize it. If you okay, forget I it, got if you forget it, the whole trick's worthless at that point. Okay. Now, do me a favor. How far down would you say that was? Uh, it's probably uh, two thirds of the way. Okay, do me a favor. Take your hand. Okay. Just wave it over to the deck. Wave it over to the deck. Is that your card? <laughs> that is so cool. That's so cool. <laughs> Try one more time. Okay. One more time. We take it, we drop it. Okay, in the so middle I put once, it in the middle, right? Middle once, okay. Middle again. Just like that. Straight back to the top. That is amazing. Now you yeah. talk about illusion. Here's one, this is one, one spot where you get to see it actually happen. See, some people will swear that that goes in the middle. Push that in just mm -hmm. with your finger. Okay. You would swear that that goes in the middle twice. Absolutely. Just give a little riffle straight back to the top. That, I mean, that would be something that would draw kids. I mean, it, it draws me. Yeah. It would draw kids to say, whoa, what's going on here? Yeah, yeah, and it does. I, I get to, I, I'm also a youth pastor, so I get to work with teens. and. And uh, it's one way that I get to connect with my teens as well because they go crazy over this stuff. But at the same time, it does draw them in and it puts, it puts us all on the same level. We're all having fun. And then we're able to get in some conversations that are really fun. Oh, my lucky stars! Here comes Sam! Oh, oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Get this. Don't miss this now. Whatever you do, right over here. Surprise! Surprise! Oh, what's uh. going on? Is this a party? Yes, it is a party. It's your party. Abby threw you a going away party. You're kidding. This is for me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, well, I'm not kidding. It's, it's for you. Well, why would you do that? I know you don't like me. It, it's not that I don't like you. It's just that I don't understand some of the things you do. Don't understand. Like quitting a job. Quitting. For summer vacation. Exactly. Like a 12-year-old. 12. -year -old. 12. But regardless of that and how I feel, 
I know that you're happy with your life, and, and Sam, I just want to let you know that I truly understand that that's what you need to be in life. So, good for you. Wow, thanks. You like me. You really like me. Okay, enough of that. All right. Hot chocolate for everyone. Oh, with marshmallows on top? Yes, Sam, with marshmallows on top, because it is your party. <gasps> Yay, hat me. Okay. Ow. <laughs> and cut. Cut. All right, hey, hey, hey. Did you get it all? Did you get it? Okay, okay. Right. this is gonna be great. I mean, this is gonna be a really good gig. I mean, I can't, I can't believe my luck. I mean, these people are gonna provide me with an endless source of material. Trust me, I know people. There are so many things going on here. And all we need is somebody who can just bring it to the surface. And it shouldn't take that much, you know what I'm saying? Hey, stick with me, kid. I'll show you the ropes, okay? I'll show you how it's done. Okay, here's what I need you to do. I want you to go to around and get some B-roll, okay? It's happening, a lot of changes in this place. <laughs> you can say that again, Walt. I never been one for change. You know, there's one thing that never changes. That's that there's always going to be change. I suppose. But I like things nice and steady. But like most people, change is unexpected. But my life, for the most part, has been uneventful. And Josie's passing, though, it changed my life immensely. You know, and. I'm, I'm sorry about that, but I'm, I'm glad you're moving on. I mean, that's a good thing. You know, I think maybe the reason that I like change is because with, with every change, you know, it's like there's another step that God has for us. I mean, there's another thing that he's, he's got planned. You know, it, it's, it's like some people look at change as a bad thing. I look at it as, as a good thing. I mean, take Laura, for example. I mean, her family, her life, everything's cool. With Abby, well, you know, that's another story. With Marcus, well, you know, is he going to pursue this being a star? Is he driven and focused? Is he going to make it? Mm -hmm. What's going to happen? And if he does make it, will he, will he like it? Will it be all that he expected it to be? Mm -hmm. And, well, Sam? Mm -hmm. Sam, I... Sam. Mm -hmm. She's a free spirit. Yeah, you can say that again. Mm -hmm. She is really free now. Yes, sir. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the program. And hey, we're uh, keep praying, and maybe Sam will come back and see us in the fall, perhaps. Hey, we've got on the next His Place. Remember, you can go to hisplace.tv, and you can find out all about the characters. You can find out all about the people that are involved. We've got two new characters starting on the next program, and and you never know what else is going to happen here. Tune in to His Place. If you want to find out more about Dave Matthews, go to our website as well, hisplace.tv.